Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 3 of the video C Ash Table Layout Panel Container. In this video, we will learn how to use Document Outline View to name our containers. So these are all the review from previous two videos. So in the previous video, we added the split container as well as table layout panel. And the document outline view will look like this. And from the document outline view, you can see that there is a form. And this form contains a split container. You can see that here. The second one is the split container and that split container contains two more container that's panel one first split we can say it's a 3a and one more splitter 3b and we doesn't place any container in this panel two part that means this will be our form one that contains a split container we are calling this as two then it has the split part 3a 3b and inside the split part we placed our table layout and you can see that's the table layout here which is 4 so you can see how useful this uh, document outline view is and it shows the parent child relationship that means it shows the container and what are all the uh, controls contained by the container if you look at here form is a container it sees this uh, split container as a control but a split control, I mean the split container is actually a container. In form's perspective, it is uh, seen as a control. So form contains this split container. Split container, the design itself, it's a combination of a two splitter. Splitter one, I mean the panel one, panel two, which is split by the uh, splitter. So this one is the splitter. Then the panel one part of the splitter contains our table layout panel why because when we are dragging and dropping we dragged it from the toolbox and dropped it on the panel one portion of the split container all right now we will go ahead and rename our container name so here this is by default it is showing split container one and this is showing table layout panel one we will rename these two and we will use the document outline view now it's a demo time okay so if you want to see the document outline view you can go to toolbox customize so here if you see in other windows i can see document outline view but in your case if it is not displayed you can go to tools options sorry tools customize then click the view menu here and inside the view menu you will be seeing a document outline so you can expand whatever menu you want or you can simply drag and drop to any existing uh, toolbox here there are a toolbar right so you can place wherever you want for now under the view menu if you see you can simply drag and drop wherever you want so you can even have it uh, in the view menu or if you want to keep it in the sub menu you can place it in the sub menu since i already have 
document outline view i am not uh, dropping it here instead i am moving it and uh, releasing my mouse so just for demo purpose i shown that likewise you can get this a uh, document outline now i am clicking the document outline and you can see the document outline shows the hierarchy which we already saw in the powerpoint slide now let me go to my split container so you can see the control name also form type we named it as a forum table layout then it is split container and the name is split container one we will change that as splitter so let's save this once next i'm selecting the table layout panel then setting the doc property to fill that means this will get filled inside the panel one part of the split container and you can see that now it got filled now this is panel one and this one is panel two but here i am not able to select panel 2 it shows a table layout panel so this is where the document outline view come into picture you can easily the sel select the control and here it is splitter if you want to rename this you can do that also so you can set property to the panel split splitter panel if you want now let me go to document outline i'll choose properties and you can see the panel one is split container one panel one this is split container one panel two if you want to change these names you can change this so in the document outline we named this as splitter right so let us take this splitter and we will go to document outline and here we are seeing a splitter splitter dot panel one and we no need to rename it let it be splitter dot panel one now i am going to table layout panel one and i am choosing properties here i am naming this as control table that's what uh, i am naming our uh, table layout panel container so now we have our layout is ready form form is selected splitter you can see the splitter splitter layout is uh, uh, horizontal the panel 2 is not occupied by any control so far and panel one which is occupied by the table layout panel so just now you saw the demo and you saw how the document outline view is useful when we want to select a specific uh, container when uh, uh, the container is occupied by the control it contains so in complex uh, architecture if we want to select a specific container document outline we will be very useful thank you for watching bye